Joining us now is Morningstar analyst Laura Lutton to get more into this topic. Laura, welcome to you first. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Okay, so tell us, explain why are these target date retirement funds, which are of course designed for security, loading up on junk bonds? Well, you know, we see quite a bit of disparity in target date funds, particularly for investors nearing retirement. Um, in the asset allocation, and we see some series fairly conservatively positioned with not a lot of uh, high-risk securities, be they stocks or bonds, and then we've got others who are taking more risk. Is there an advantage for the portfolio manager to stick those junk funds in there? Well, junk bonds have, have performed great this year, so the um, target date series that do have more exposure to high yield bonds have done um, have done well, so there's an advantage there. But you know, there's also added risk when you when you um, go into the in the junk bond space. And that's the problem, right? This risk, and for the investor, discovering how much risk he or she is taking, perhaps you might not really realize it, right? That's true, and you know, a lot of target date funds are structured as funds of funds. So really digging in and figuring out what's in, what's in these funds and what the risk spectrum is can be a challenge for indi uh, individual investors. Okay, so what do you do? I mean, how do you discover that? Well, Morningstar can certainly help. We would show you um, in that fund to fund structure what the individual fund's exposure is um, to various uh, points on the credit quality spectrum. So that would be a good way to find out. Um, and then, you know, if you invest in these through a 401k provider, um, there may be some literature associated with the funds as part of that as well. So overall, would you say disclosure on these needs to be improved? We think so. I mean, we've looked very systematically at the disclosure to uh, investors in the target date space, and um, given how complex these investments are, we really think that the fund firms offering them could go a few steps further in explaining what's inside so that investors aren't left wondering. What are some of the other risky assets uh, that these funds are comprised of? Emerging market risks? How does that work in? Yeah, a lot of the um, target date funds that are aimed towards younger investors invest predominantly in equities. But you know, we see some target date series that invest predominantly in domestic large cap stocks. But others have very big exposure to international stocks and may own, you know, quite a few emerging market stocks that are going to have more volatility in them. So you know, we're seeing a variety of risk on the equity end as well. All right, Laura Lutton with Morningstar, thank you so much for joining us today to talk about Thanks target date me. retirement funds.